objective Charlie. We have taken objective apples. Hello everyone, this is 10 Rules All. I'm back again with another video. But this time it's going to be a voiceover. So in the background today, you're going to see some footage that I took from my most recent Battlefield 1 live stream. Bro, jump out of the uh, basically, hole. I sit around corners and wreck these poor fools with my shotgun. So, this video could be considered a rant or almost a review of sorts. And today's offending game, obviously, is Battlefield 1. Yes, I know that Battlefield 1, the so-called greatest FPS of 2016, and sometimes even hailed as the best overall game of 2016. Obviously, I completely disagree. This game started out great. I bought it upon its release, and I even did a 12-hour stream of it on Twitch. I loved almost every moment of it, and frankly, I was disappointed that my 12-hour stream couldn't become a 24-hour stream. Uh, however, some days later, the game is just completely different. Um, so first, I want to discuss probably what is my most prominent issue with this game, which are the guns. Even by the end of my stream, I began to notice the lack, th the lack of depth here. The guns are woefully inadequate, the guns that are in the game are bland, boring, and they all pretty much do the same thing. The gun selection in this game only tells me one thing, that this game is developed with camping and sniping in mind. Now, I acknowledge the fact that this game takes place within the technological confines of World War I, and that assault rifles and most SMGs didn't even exist yet. I also understand that in the upcoming DLC pack, we will be seeing more guns introduced in addition to the first appearance of the French oh, army, okay. which I'll get to here in a moment. However, I'm judging this game right now based off of what I received out of the box on day one, what I paid 60 bucks for. The majority of the weapons here are semi-automatic or bolt-action rifles. There are really only two that I can think of submachine guns available, and they're just so underpowered. The recoil is bad. The sights, whether they're iron sights or optic sights, they're bad too. The SMGs are just flat out unusable. The shotgun's a better option for close quarters combat. This is the type of FPS that I find fun and entertaining. I like close quarters combat, lots of intense action, and I just re simply refuse to just sit back with my dick in the dirt and wait to shoot the poor fools that are actually trying to play the objective. It's not fun, it's not exciting, it's not fulfilling, it doesn't require the least bit of skill, and I refuse to be a part of it. The other weapons that are fully automatic are the light machine guns, and admittedly, these guns are decent. I really enjoy using the bar, specifically. However, even in the context of this game, LMGs are underpowered as the almighty semi-auto or sniper rifles will put you down in two to three shots at most. The rate of fire on the LMGs is simply not high enough to counter the other weapons, and the recoil is very prohibitive. Without the underpowered SMGs and LMGs, and with the complete absence of assault rifles, all that's left are single-shot weapons. These weapons are only viable if used very conservatively, using cover, <laughs> hanging back, not capturing flags, and only playing selfishly for the sake of getting kills. Also, no attachments? I get that there are now gun variants, but that is simply not good enough. Go back and look at Battlefield 4, or hell, even Battlefield Hardline. Those games had almost limitless possibilities for gun setup. So much variety, to the point where I had several days, weeks, played on those two games, and I have yet to use every weapon, much less every attachment. Gun variants are such a kick in the balls when taking into account the removal of attachments altogether. So the maps, okay, the maps, I have to admit they're awesome. They are visually stunning, they offer you a real feeling of battle with progression, destructibility, and realism. The random weather effects are an oft overlooked addition that's very welcome. Trench warfare is very nicely represented here, honestly. However, I do wish that there was more of it. I just need more. This is an area where I'm taking more of a wait-and-see approach, only because the DLC will offer more maps in the future, and I have seen glimpses of the new maps, and they do include more trench warfare. 
but the ones that ship with the game are very nice. But, here again, gun balance comes into play. The maps were so clearly designed with long-range combat in mind. The players that do well are the ones who hang back. They do not capture flags, and they just farm kills of the players that are actually more proactive. This problem is made even worse by the dreaded, archaic, unnecessary, annoying, and downright insulting respawn timer. Why do I deserve to wait 5, 6, 7, or even 10 seconds to respawn? Time and time again, I found myself wondering if DICE and EA actually don't want me to play their game. Would they rather I just sit on the sidelines for a sixth of a minute? If I die 15 times in a match, which believe me, it happens quite a bit, that's actually kind of conservative, but if I die 15 times in a match, with having to wait 10 seconds each time, that's over two minutes that I spent in a match just sitting on the sidelines watching a timer. This must be changed. I know that there are reasons for this timer existing, such as momentum shifts and increasing the importance of staying alive, but this is out of control. Not once in BF4 or Hotline did I experience respawn timers that are this long. Unacceptable. The last point I want to make is the lack of variety in the factions. This was a world war. I should be able to play as nations other than Germany, the United Kingdom, the United States, Italy, Turkey, or Austria-Hungary. There were also Russians, Bulgarians, Belgians, Serbs, Japanese, Portuguese, oh, and last but not least, the motherfucking French. How they could ship a World War I game without the French army present is just totally beyond me. It is inexcusable. There are maps that are set in France, but you fight as the Americans, or the Germans or British. Wouldn't you think that the French would be present to defend their homeland? As far as I know, they did not just disappear from the war once the Americans showed up in 1917. The French sent over 8.6 million soldiers into battle over those four years of war, surpassed only by the British and the oddly absent Russians on the Allied side of the war. So, these are only some of my issues with Battlefield 1. Not to mention the fact that the netcode is so seriously fucked, the lack of customization is startling, the underutilization of vehicles, I mean, is this Battlefield or not? And the total clusterfuck that is the new battle pack system. Seriously, DICE, what the fuck did you do to the battle packs? Totally inexcusable. So, and, and it's, it's just astounding to me that people hail this as one of the best first-person shooters of 2016. One of the best Battlefield games. Battlefield 3 was more fun than this. It had more variety, the maps were better, there was more guns, it was balanced, it was fun. Campers got what the fuck they deserved. So anyway, I don't want to force you to sit here all day and listen to me, bitch. I had to get this rant video out. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching and, and listening to me over these last few minutes. If you enjoy my content, like the video, favorite, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash 10 rules all. Thank you again so much for watching. See you next time. Out there to the and I'm sorry, from the same direction.